Fans knew exactly what to expect when they saw the first trailer for Madam Web, a cringe disaster. And as we've led up to it, when you look at the box office numbers that are being projected, it looks like that's exactly what it's going to be, with box office numbers tracking worse than Morbius. And to be honest, I'm not sure what else they expected when they hired the same writers that did Morbius and basically made it look like a cheaper version of the Marvels. But now as more starts to come out, it looks like fans might not be the only ones who are incredibly disappointed with this movie because it looks like some of the stars may have had no idea what they were actually getting into. In a new article coming out talking about how, you know, Sony's really going to try to focus more on standalone storytelling, you know, in this Sony Spider-Man universe that's all supposed to be interconnected. It's weird how they're kind of changing the goalposts to that now, isn't it? But there's a few lines about Madam Web that specifically caught people's eye, and that's about the star, Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson left her talent agency only a week after the trailer for Madam Web released. The decision raised industry eyebrows. And maybe we know why that happened, because we talked about this trailer when it came out. It, it got roasted for a multitude of reasons. One, it just kind of looks like more cringe girl boss. The writing looked terrible. The acting was pathetic. Overall, it just was a massive meme, and she was getting made fun of for a bunch of lines in the trailer, massively downvoted, almost a quarter million dislikes to just over 100,000 likes. And just days after this trailer debuted and was mocked and ridiculed all across the internet, Dakota Johnson left her talent agency. Isn't that strange? Variety recently shared a piece in the current state of Sony Marvel Universe plans that there's an interesting reveal which suggests Dakota Johnson may be unhappy with Madam Web. As the trade explains, Johnson's conspicuous jump from WME to CAA in November, just days after a baffling first trailer debuted, raised industry eyebrows, along with the Raz in a recent SNL monologue describing the film as like if AI generated your boyfriend's perfect movie. They're making a big assumption, but the suggestion is clearly the actress isn't fully behind the upcoming comic book movie. Jared Leto clearly couldn't care less about what he was doing rounds to promote Morbius, so Johnson may feel the same way. And someone also found something very interesting when it comes to some of the people that are in this. Sydney Sweeney, Dakota Johnson, both of them, when they make a, made the big announcement that they're going to be part of a Marvel movie, both of them actually tagged Marvel Studios. The problem is Marvel Studios, you know, the, the one behind the MCU, has nothing to do with this production. Really, the only thing they end up partnering on are when they do the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. But for these movies... Now, Marvel Studios is not any part of that. Marvel Entertainment, you know, a separate branch, that is usually involved, but not Marvel Studios. It looks like Sidney Sweeney and Dakota Johnson may have both thought they were going to be in like an MCU movie instead of, you know, the Sony Spider-Man universe, or maybe had no idea what the difference was. Obviously, now with what Kevin Feige said recently, well, anything's potentially in the MCU. But holy shit, maybe this is why she ended up, you know, leaving her talent agency after all this backlash. Maybe that's why she's been saying some of the stuff that's out there. Doesn't look like the people that are involved with this are happy either, probably because they know it's going to be a complete and total mess and a nightmare. What do you guys think about this? Let me know. What do you think about Dakota Johnson? Just days after this fucking trailer dropped and was the laughing stock of the internet, just leaves her talent agency. Maybe not happy with the fact that they let her walk into this. She's getting paid millions of dollars, I'm sure, so I don't have too much sympathy. But certainly, it doesn't look like this movie is going to do her career any favors. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.